And each day it seems like we are counting our pennies and having to find new ways to be strategic with our savings and our income. So joining me today to talk about this is Colin Evans with Evans Financial Group. So let's talk about the benefits of preserving our income. We want to hold on to all that money, Colin. Well, and you got to think about it too. When we start prepping and we're going into this time that everybody is preparing for a retirement, we're living longer, the things are costing more, our health care expenses, we had inflation to deal with. So preserving income, we really want to focus and pay attention to what are the income streams that we have coming in. Because some of these things that can come into play are, let's go ahead and start with the easiest one is peace of mind. Mm -hmm. but when you've got income coming in and you're in the retirement phase, this is a peace of mind because this makes things easier when it comes down to our budgeting time frame. Where we, if we have any sort of instances or emergencies or things like that, we've discussed the power of threes when things go wrong or consistently going to happen. Right. Um, that you're when you have a reliant source of income that makes that that time or some things like that so much easier. But that really also helps too to maintain lifestyle. And you know, we, about two years ago, we saw Social Security did a big bump with um, they did a cost of living adjustment, and the news reported that really well. It said, you know, hey, we're having a cost of living adjustment. And Social Security is giving that. Well, the public thinking hey, is great, you know, Social Security is get, we're almost getting a raise, but it really wasn't. It was because we were dealing with such high inflation rates that we had seen. This is to keep people at the same standard mm -hmm. of living. It's not, you know, we're not trying to, Uncle Sam wasn't trying to give exorbitant amounts of money to where we can go on cruises and vacations. It's like, hey, we're just trying to help you. The folks we're just that trying are to get already, through. Already retired to stay in that same level. But one of the biggest challenges that roll out is, you cannot, in retirement, you cannot have a guaranteed income source from non-guaranteed sources. What we mean by that are like investments being the easiest one because you have to deal with market fluctuations. Mm -hmm. So that can be something for people to consider when they're in the retirement time frame. Are they okay with that? Is that okay in their, you know, in their retirement plan? And can they handle any sort of, you know, market swings that we might have to deal with on a day to day? You know, and we, we have the unpredictable expenses. We just kind of discussed a little bit of that of, again, those power of threes of those things that roll out. But a big key that what we really need people to focus on after we've gone through this inflation is your health care. And as we are living longer, we also have to keep in mind the cost of it in our older age is also high mm -hmm. and we want to make sure make sure that you are prepared for that but what, you know when we want to wrap this up with what are sources of protected income we've discussed social security just a little bit because that's the most common everybody is familiar with and it's funny when we talk about this in our office we say social security is neither social nor secure because there's always the kind of the threat the government puts out there it's like hey it's going to run out of money it's going to run out of money which we hope not because we're all putting into this right for the hopes that we're going to receive something down the road and don't like hearing that it's going to run out of money but it's one of the most common that we're familiar with another big uh, one that a lot of people are familiar with are pensions, but they're almost a thing of the past unless you're working for a big entity like a fire department or a police station that offer that. But from a corporate standpoint, you don't see pensions anymore, but those are one of the things that also help people get, have a guaranteed income stream, again, which is helping with this peace of mind. And one of the last ones that are out there are annuities, which are actually driven by insurance companies. What a familiar way to relate that is that's how lottery winnings are paid out because that's another way that can also prepare and give a guaranteed income stream. And when you're putting these kind of things together as we have to deal with, you know, a lot of retirees that are in there, that income and having those sources of the guarantee side really gives a good playing field for people in retirement because that's a for one the peace of mind but it's allowing you to do the things that you want to do maintain lifestyle enjoy your hobbies and that allows you to plan for any future instances that could occur or could arise because you know you've got a, a steady guaranteed income stream rolling in good financial advice thanks as always colin <laughs> thanks for having us